Yeah, this is your guy CYCH tune, second tune. Don't get it twisted. I'm here with my guy EBD on EBD show. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay, um, I'm Sag Tune and my real name is Yao Ampof Amosa. Um, I'm a music producer, engineer, and then um, I started this production thing professionally around 2018, yeah, I might say. Yeah, so the Psych is an abbreviated word that's collaborate your concept in hype entertainment. So that's how I got the name Psych. And my friends decided to add a tune to it so it was like psych tune because i'm responsible for the production of beats and the others so psych tune yeah um i've loved music since childhood uh, and i remember um when i was a kid in church I, I used to play the keyboard i started playing keyboard when I was around class five or so. And I was also part of the um, brigade group. I was I was a brigader. So um, I've been playing the drum, the side drums, I mean the snare and the trombone as well. So um, as time went on, I met a friend. I had a guy called um, General Roger. Yeah. So when we were in school, he has been rapping and other stuff. And I've been playing a beat on the decks. You understand? So after school, and then I had that software the FL Studio, even that one was a demo version, but we tried and do something like we were just trying to create something. So I couldn't even save the project. So sometimes after playing the beats, I have to record. I had a software to record the beat only. So I will record it, then we put it down, then we will try again. So that's how we started. So later then I decided to see some of the professionals and I started learning from them. I also got some tutorials from online and I it took from there. Yeah. Um, I think I'll say it's nature because um, thinking of it, um, my voice is different from yours and God is the number one producer because the way he engineered our voice, talking about the, even animals, his creatures, dogs, cats, all have their unique voices, do you understand? So these are kind of things which inspires me and also I also looked up to Richie Mason when he came to the system. Um, the game was filled with this hip life. Jamma kind of style, but he came with a different feel. So which means I must say he's a game changer. So as growing up, I looked up to him. I said, oh, this guy really loves his production. I want to produce something like this. So I remember when he came out with Jaro or something. Yeah, I really love that production. So I said, oh, I think I have to learn from this guy's production. So that's what got me into music production. Yeah. Um, it comes naturally like, um, Sometimes I can even hear rhythm within me, then I will create. And it also depends. Sometimes when an artist comes to my end, he gives the scores and then through that I can create the melody out of it. So, but basically it comes naturally. It's natural, yeah. I got a bad feeling about this. Um, I think I would like to work with Rich Mesa because um, he inspired me into this music production thing. So I would like to give him one production, yeah. Um, I think I'll, I will be in the corporate world because um, I, um, I have a degree in procurement and supply chain so definitely that, that's what I'll be practicing. Um, I've worked with uh, a lot of artists um, but I'm interested in the up and coming ones. I've worked with um, Liftake, Kwame Afro, um, Black Prince, F2, NPJ. Trisha Williams, a whole lot, uh, a whole lot, yeah. Um, I think all are my favorites. I don't have a specific one because they all have their own style. You understand? Yeah, they have their own style, so I can't pinpoint that. So this is my favorite. You understand? Yeah, they are all good. My favorite song. Uh, Recently, I had a, an EP out and called In Tuned. So one of the songs that people were loving was uh, Oh Father. And trust me, that song, I didn't spend much time on it. Like, it, it just happened, like it was so easy. It took me some few hours to complete the work. 
so i really enjoyed working on that song and that's the song that to provide you to it's currently on youtube oh father you can check it out i chose i chose in tune because um in tune is getting things done right when when things are on point because musically you can you have to tune your guitar like those kind of things so all the songs on the ep were so on point they are so in tune in line so that's how i chose the name in tune oh my ep in tune in tune um, with the ep um then basically ep is you is about you telling a story about yourself so it depends like the story can be about anything but you have to segment them so i had five songs on it um that's fallen um judas sweets oh father and panana so with the um fallen i featured the pj and the chief boy the name the um, explains itself falling like it's about you falling for a girl and trying to express your love to her yeah and um with the second track judas it's also a love song you trying to tell the lady that um, you wouldn't deny her as Judas did and on, on that track I featured um Liptic, Kwame Afro and um, F2 on that and the third one is um, Sweet the Sweet um, is a kind of Afro dancehall tune that I featured um, Kojo Bans it's, it's really good that guy trust me you need to go and look for that song Sweet man the, the song the song it's already sweet so i don't need to explain much about it it's sweet uh-huh and the old father the old father is a kind of street vibe like we were praying to god for god to help us blow in this music thing because we don't want to divert into any profession i don't i, I can't be a teacher i can't be a banker because i believe I've, I've been called to be a musician to be a producer so that's what i believe so father please help us blow in this music thing you understand so it's a kind of prayer to god simple and the um fifth one is panana it's a sensational love song that i featured lipstick kwame afro f2 yeah so you have to search for that that song is a banger trust me with um panana yeah um, actually i really love all the songs all the five tracks but from the response i was getting from friends they really love their old father because um it's a kind of sweet vibe thing and as, as i said earlier when i didn't spend much time mixing working on that song you understand and that old father trust me it had a lot of views on youtube the video you can check it out yeah oh the ep in tune is is available on all the digital platforms so um, spotify audio mac apple store like i mean all the digital platforms is available there beef me me i'm a vegetarian so i don't eat beef but <laughs> actually beef it depends you know in everything we have the positive and the negative so um it's on the other side it can give you that exposure depending on the person you are beefing with you understand if you are beefing with a, a bigger ass it's going to get you a kind of hype you understand so it depends but uh, if we are beefing i think it has to be very clean like lyrically it shouldn't be so personal you understand? So I don't discourage beef. It depends. I, I think it's cool. Yeah. You know, we are we are now in a global world, so internet makes it easier to reach someone outside your your country. You understand? And it also helps you to create your niche. So you, you can have your targeted, I mean, audience. Like you want to do a song for people in Jamaica. So through internet, it makes it easier. You understand because for example with my ep i realized that this song the um suites it had a lot of strings from us so that means next time i will try and concentrate on that kind of afro dancehall kind of because it's a song that people from us really enjoyed so internet really helps yeah um, if you should ask me um i'm going to uh, mention those i've been working with you understand and they are all my favorites so but definitely i can't mention their name at a go it's going to be one by the other so i think um i enjoy like my one of my favorites is uh, black prince i mean that guy lyrically the guy get vibes rough rough trust me he's really good and lipstick too 
is very good one one of the best vocalists like Ghana should watch watch out for him and also Kwame Afro I mean one of the dopest rapper and F2 can be left out and also YD I mean that guy that guy each and every day he, he keeps on growing so I think I've mentioned five right and I have to add one I have to make it this I have one lady that I've been working with it's called Trisha Williams that girl trust me her voice alone yeah, I had a song with her called um, Promise Me it's a reggae tune you can check it out um me trouble but um i think i will call it a challenge musically because um at a time i had a problem with my machine that i lost all my works my data so i needed to call the artists that have been completed their works to replay everything so i think it was the greatest challenge that i ever encountered in my music career yeah um best advice I mean, in everything, God first, and just keep doing what you know how to do. Just keep doing, keep pushing, determination. That's it, and you get there. That's it. In industry, I think there's a whole lot of things to be changed because, trust me, we don't even have a system. Like, we don't have a system. Um, if your song, if your song is being played on air, you wouldn't know the number of times that it was being played. Um, even the top artists are complaining about their royalties, how they are able to get their royalties. A whole lot. So, I think the the government have to set in and put things in order because trust me, there's a whole lot of things to be worked on in terms of our music industry. Yeah, it's concerned. Um, the next five years. Um, I think um the next five years. I'm supposed to be the one of the biggest producers in the world. Yeah, I have a plan towards that and I can't disclose them here, but trust me, you watch out. I have a lot of works that we are still on it. Yeah. Um, I'm working on another EP, so it will be coming very soon. Hopefully, maybe at the end of this year or early next year. Yeah. And I'm also working on a lot of projects with other artists, so it's not giving me that time to work on my works, do you understand? So, but definitely, I will be dropping a new EP very soon. Yeah.